shit here. Man, let me tell y'all niggas something. Man, these new nigga. You want something to eat that? Before I say that, man. And you got my son, he played for JD. You got kids that's this fucking goddamn that's doing right. You got babies at these schools, man, that 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 they academic level is up there. You know what I'm saying, man? They 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 mean well. They mean well to society. They want to do something with their life. I got a baby I just sent to the Navy, and I got two I just sent to college. So I'm doing my part on raising the right kind of kids in this stupid-ass fucking city, man. Now, the babies that was out there playing the game, they couldn't even, whether, whether JD was losing or not, it ain't even about carving JD at this point, winning or losing. It's about... These babies was out there doing their thing on the field for their parents. And they had to get ran off the fucking field because some fucking niggas felt like that was the right time and place to let off 15 fucking shots. I don't give a fuck what the situation is. Y'all young niggas got to understand it's different rules to this game. It's different rules to this fucking game. How we came up in the streets back then. Babies. Ladies. Old ladies. Old folks. They was off limits. You 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 let you gave a nigga a pad. You beefing with a nigga in the street. That's in the thing. That's you and that nigga. I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's whatever. Cause niggas gonna do what they gonna do. A grown man gonna do what he wanna do regardless. So whatever a nigga doing in the street, nigga, that's that's anything. But one thing you don't do in the fucking street, nigga, is catch a nigga at a fucking high school football game and feel like you want to let your fucking pistol loose. That's pussy shit, nigga. You just really, you just really want to want to be seen. You trying to set up a motherfucking audience to let your pistol loose at a motherfucking game? Man, are you fucking serious, man? If y'all nigga want each other that bad, y'all would have did that at y'all fucking neighborhood or anywhere else. Nigga, don't bring that shit to no motherfucking, don't bring that shit to no motherfucking football game where these babies been practicing all fucking summer to play their first game and y'all bitches take these, take they, take they first fucking game from them. These children playing their game, they enjoying themselves, losing the night. And y'all niggas took the whole atmosphere. Man, with so many little babies at this game, man. Little babies, um, babies. Old people that came out to see they, they grandbabies play. And y'all niggas really, y'all niggas really felt like. I had to just think about this shit for a minute. Because when that shit went off, man, before you realize what would happen, nigga had already let off about six shots. Y'all open. Oh my bad, my bad, my bad, babe. I'm on this live just venting to these niggas. What you want there? These niggas shooting at the JD and we at Arby's. These niggas shooting at the JD and Carver game, man. And then somebody done got shot from from the dude that was on my live. Say somebody got shot in the stomach. Then people on Facebook saying the little baby got shot. So what you want there? Man, a, a roast beef sandwich. You like roast beef? You never had a roast beef? Really? Really, Dad? You never had a roast beef sandwich? Crispy chicken. Let me get the crispy. Let, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm finna finish going off when I put this. Uh, Let me get the beef, the roast beef, uh, that number five. Just the sandwich with the Swiss cheese on it. But not the Swiss cheese with the hole in the other one. So you want a roast beef plus just the sandwich? Yeah, yeah. Anything else for you? Uh, and then uh, what you say, big chicken? chicken? Oh, crispy chicken meal. What's your drink? What you want? Fruit punch. All right, anything else? That's it. Thank you. That's gonna be a lot for you. All right, appreciate it. Man, y'all niggas really felt like sorry about that, y'all. You know, I picked my baby up from the goddamn gang, taking, getting some of the eating shit. 
But y'all niggas like it ain't y'all niggas ain't real, man. Cause back in the days, back in the days. When we were turning with niggas, man, a nigga catch you at the game or catch you somewhere, man. You got your baby with you and you got his babies around. Nig niggas will give you a pad, man. Nigga gave pads back then because nigga was on some real shit. Kids went in that shit. Babies went in that shit. Ladies, old ladies went in that shit, man. Niggas went letting off no shots and doing all that shit like that, man. Air nine then, air blue moon, you catch that dumbass nigga. But I'm talking about real niggas. I'm talking about real fucking niggas. Man, nobody don't wait to get to no motherfucking high school football game and just let off shots, man. Man, nobody don't, man, we don't, nobody don't do that. You want a nigga for real and you really, 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 if you really, really he with a nigga for real, for real, and you want to fire nigga ass up for real, you don't even do that shit with your homeboy. Let me tell you, for real, for real, you don't even do that shit with your homeboy. Shit. You wanna if y'all niggas wanna just be on some real real shit right now, come on, be with no six seven niggas and ride and, and one pistol in the car and nigga done shot fifteen times. You catch a nigga ass by himself and man, please, y'all nigga man on some real phony shit, man. That was some phone, that was some fake ass shit. But and one of them niggas, whoever them nigga was, to shoot at that motherfucking gang like that, man. And then then, then now I'm here. See, that's the reason I thought that they were shooting in the gang because the niggas was right there on the outside of the gate shooting in the gang. The fuck? Man, if it was up to me, like the way I feel about niggas, man, the way that shit just went, man. What what y'all what y'all coach told y'all there when y'all was down in the field and all the players on both sides started running. He told y'all to, to get out. To get out? You see what I'm saying? My baby been practicing for that nigga been going to practice every day this summer, damn near. In the gym, lifting weights. And this was their first game to really get out there and play. And have and have fun from all the work that they've been doing, and they get out there, man. And y'all niggas take that, y'all niggas take that from them. I'm talking about nothing ass. I'm talking about these babies here is in school preparing themselves for college, playing ball, making some out themselves, and some nothing ass niggas, some nothing ass niggas that don't mean shit to society and what this city got going on. Took. The happiness, them niggas, them niggas took everybody joy did tonight. Man, it was over 2,000 people at that game. How you doing, good, them niggas took everybody joy, man. How long we gonna keep letting these niggas do this shit? Man, and then you got parents in the fucking audience, man, watching their babies. And they seeing their babies run off the field. They can't get to them. You see people on Carver side trying to get away from the shots. They running. P babies being trampled. Old folks getting trampled, man. Old folks all on the ground and shit. Man, that shit's so fucking embarrassing, man. This the most embarrassing ass, fucking nothing ass goddamn city, man. I tell you, this the most nothing is ass, meaning for nothing ass fucking niggas. Man, this the most nothing ass nothing ass niggas man i don't ever seen in a fucking city the most nothing this ass this is the most nothing this ass nigga city i don't ever fucking seen man you got to be fucking kidding me to have that much respect man to shoot 15 fucking rounds at a high school football game where it ain't number babies yeah what you want what kind of sauce you want uh two of each well three pepper sauce arby sauce and uh horses sauce for nothing. Now, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Now you got people. Now you got people don't even want to go to the game tomorrow because they feel like it's gonna be some shit tomorrow at the game. Nobody don't post to feel like that, man. Nobody don't post to have that type of feel. You don't post to feel like that in your goddamn city, man. The eight niggas that ain't in school, little niggas. I don't. I'm, I'm literally starting to hate little niggas that ain't in school. That's the age 16 to like 20, 25, 24, round 25, 24. Cause around 25, you start getting a, a little more something about yourself. But little niggas from like, man, 15, 16, up to 25, man, I hate them little niggas. I ain't gonna lie to you. Them the niggas fucking this shit up. Every time you hear about something like that, 
every time you hear about something going on, it's a little, it's a young nigga from the age 15, 16 to about 22, 23. Them the niggas is just fucking destroying this goddamn city, man. Man, my son, 16 years old. Play out there playing his game. He got to run. My fucking son got to fucking run. Because niggas that ain't even playing the game, that done came to, to quote unquote watch the game, that shot the game up. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas had to come to the game to shoot the game up because y'all were hot with each other. Y'all niggas, man, y'all niggas ain't nothing, man. And y'all wonder why when we talk on these songs, I'm telling nigga we keep that chop on the seat. Cause I'm trying to protect my fucking family. Like we got to, we got to load up extra ammunition just to make sure our family safe. From young niggas. And we always holler about white folk this and the white folk that. And we all talk about the, the white police that's killing. And then you doing this. How they gonna even take us serious to fight against police injustice and and police brutality when we doing this? Man, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, just, just tired of y'all, nigga, man. Just real talk, man. Everybody in the city. I'm speaking for everybody in the goddamn city. Everybody who got any kind of respect about themselves. Working a job, or you ain't working a job, you ain't gotta be working no job to feel like that. We talk, we're talking about everybody with kids, niggas that don't got kids. It's a handful of niggas, and everybody in the city really hates y'all niggas. I'm letting y'all niggas know everybody in Montgomery hate all y'all young dumb niggas that's fucking up this city. Niggas can't go, niggas can't go to the club. Goddamn barber. Old boy, man, I can't think of his name right now. The dude that went to goddamn Big Boys to run in there and get him a chicken plate. Man, ain't even going out to the club. Run in there to get him a little chicken plate. And the man gets shot in the fucking neck coming out because these niggas fucking shooting. Man, this city, man, this city right here, man, Montgomery. Man, it ain't it ain't no loyalty, no respect, man, with these young niggas. These niggas just reckless. Basically, basically, basically a nigga letting off around like that, whether who shot first or whatever, whatever happened. Whoever shooting, you just ain't got no respect for nobody life. Like you, you really ain't you ain't got no respect for nobody life. Nigga, this, this shit, this shit ain't no play shit. This shit ain't no play shit. You can't be playing with other people's life. You beefing with a nigga, y'all need to hash that shit out because the shit ain't about nothing. Niggas be beefing about the nothing is at hole. If y'all ever heard about a nigga beefing over a bitch and then you hear about the nigga done killed the nigga about the bitch. Man, if y'all ever seen these bitches that these niggas be killing these niggas about, man, you will be sick on your goddamn stomach. You be like, nigga, you killed this man over this bitch, and she done fuck twenty niggas in the same neighborhood, and this who? Man, y'all nigga crazy, man. Man, I stay so, man, I'm so spook, I'm so spook with y'all nigga, man. Like the type of nigga on meals, I'm so spook with y'all niggas. I sit back and just watch y'all nigga. I don't like no nigga to spook me. I got a quick reaction to be on some nigga try to stop me at the gas station. Man, about four in the morning. It was a couple years back. I'm at the gas station. It about three, four in the morning. Nigga walking up to me fast. Nigga, three, four in the morning. We ain't got nothing to talk about. Man, no nigga. I don't give a fuck who you is. Unless you Mr. Blue, Gangsta Bun One, some niggas that I some niggas that I know my partner. Nigga, you can't walk up to me at no gas station at no two, three in the morning on some hey, pill, hey, 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 hot. None of that. Man, I cut the nigga, oh, oh, whatever you got going on, my nigga, we'll talk when the sun come up. Shitting me. Don't even don't even walk up to me, cause see, I keep my pistol on my side. 
I keep one in the chamber and I keep that bitch off safety. I don't, I don't even need no safety on my pistol. Because if you play with me when I'm with my chair, you dead. Y'all playing this, this these folks and, and fucking with folks cheering and all this shit, man. A nigga will fire your ass up. And you got these niggas out here shooting round babies. Man, y'all niggas dead, man. They even need folks to make us sample, y'all, child. Then, then I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's true, but they saying that one of them niggas done, done killed a fucking baby. If y'all niggas done killed a baby, we, man, let me tell you something. Hey, if y'all niggas out there killing innocent, this baby ain't got nothing to do with nothing. This baby ain't even know she was at a football game if y'all done killed this baby. And I hope, I hope that's a fucking rumor. I hope that's a lie. I hope that shit ain't true. Cause see now y'all done violated and see a nigga done shot a goddamn baby. We we need to figure out some shit to talk to. And, and I'm, I'm gonna say this shit, man. And I know this shit the dumbest shit in the world to say, but I'm gonna say this shit cause that's how I'm feeling. But but some shit like that happened, to man. The motherfucking police department and the goddamn councilman, the governor, the mayor of Montgomery, Alabama. They need to let us have that nigga. They need to let us do what we want to do in our community to niggas that rape kids, to nigga that fucking kill babies, and we got proof that them nigga did it. Man, let us have that nigga. Let us have him. I know that shit sounds stupid. I know it ain't going to happen eye for eye. I know it ain't that type of country. I know it ain't that type of country, but boy, oh my God. Oh my fucking God. If y'all niggas done set up here and shot an innocent baby, shooting at some lame ass nigga about nothing, and then if you go back to what these niggas probably beefing about, man, it's probably some shit so motherfucking lame. A nigga said a nigga goddamn ain't got no hoes or a nigga ain't getting no money, and the nigga talking about these niggas on this side, and these niggas talking about these niggas on this side, and none of these niggas ain't got no fucking money. Nigga, go get a motherfucking job. Go get a job. Do something with yourself, man. Raise your kids to be better than what they is. All these mammas and all these peppers out there. I understand that some situations, you ain't got no fucking control of what your kids do because you can be the best goddamn mama and the best goddamn daddy, but these little motherfuckers gonna do what they wanna do regardless. Just no fucking respect what's so fucking ever. But I'm gonna tell you like this. That shit can work two ways. You can be that parent that, that do your best with your kids. And when they get to spraying the other way, you be like, I'm going to let God handle it. You know, I wash my hand. Fuck that. You see that one right here? This the last of two. I got two babies. They're 16. By two different women. Both of these niggas. My babies. One of them want to play for Auburn. That's why he playing football. He's been playing football since midget. That's what his life is. Talking to his little girlfriend on the phone, playing video games, playing football, going to the movies. You know, every shit. I give him the world. And I let him know. Check this out. I let him know. Whatever you want, I get it for you if you do right. If you get off track and you ain't doing right, I'm not finna, I'm not finna give up on you. I beat your ass last week for what you did. And you done did some again, I'm going to beat your ass again this week, and I'm going to beat your ass harder. And you continue to beat they fucking ass, and you stay on they goddamn ass until they do right. You don't let up off your chin. When you let up off them, you let the streets get them. Here the keys, Dad. When you let up off your kids, you let the streets get them. That's the worst thing you can do is let the goddamn streets raise your baby. It's the worst thing you can do is let the street raise your babies. Raise your goddamn babies. Because... If he went playing football, even the other two, the twins, they used to go to games. They wouldn't let no games fighting and running around and walking back and forth and doing shit. I don't raise them. Now, one going to Miles College and one going to A&M and one going to the Navy. I got six kids. I got two more kids in Georgia, 116 and 117. One want to be a scientist and the other want to fix appliances. I don't know what he got going on with that, but he just want to fix shit. Fix motors. He know how to open up shit. Six kids now. I raised six kids. 
six fucking kids and all of them are something. Not one of my kids fell by the wayside. Not one of them. Not one of my babies out of six fucking kids. I'm six goddamn up. All my kids are somebody or they going to be somebody. I'm not finna sit up here and raise a motherfucking child and, and, and like on some. What's up, dude? On some, on some, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with him. Oh, hell no. Hell fucking no. You gonna do right. I don't give a fuck how old you is. You gonna do right or I'm gonna choke your ass right. My oldest son, he wanted to go dreads. I let him go dreads. He went to school, did some old stupid shit. Hey, all right. Next time you do a dreads, I got kind of long. I said, all right, you fuck up again. I'm gonna come up there and I'm gonna cut your dreads in the school in front of everybody. I'm going to embarrass your ass. I'm going to show you. He fucked up again. Went up there with some seals. Took his ass. And, and then the preachers. And then the principals and the teachers. They love that shit. They love when you appear and you come up there. And you bucking on their ass. Because they need it. They need your help. Man, I went up there. Took that nigga in the lunchroom and cut. And I'm not a barber. So I was cutting dreads niggas left and right. I was cutting dreads on some. Oh, this one right here cut short. This one right here cut long. This one right here got a, a, a ball spot. Oh, cut all them dreads off and sent his ass back to class. If you going to embarrass me, nigga, I'm going to embarrass your ass. I bet you that nigga ain't do nothing else. Because, see, at that point, he knew that his daddy was a goddamn fool. And he got damn hold to them promises. You cut up in school, he did something else. This was little young shit he was doing before he went to the Navy. Got that nigga all the way on the right path from the, from the bottom. He was in... Uh, elementary the sixth grade fifth grade and he stole some goddamn pencils out the teacher desk now you already know man let me tell you something we don't play that shit right there but you ain't finna embarrass us on no you done stole some shit this nigga stole some motherfucking pencils from the teacher and the teacher knew he had the shit because the nigga had the pencils with some mechanical pencils i say man why you stole the pencils man I just wanted the pencils, car. I like them. I said, nigga, you got pencils. You know, this one I had custody of all four of my kids. The four kids is down here. So we staying in a two-bedroom apartment. I'm taking care of them. Nigga, you ain't finna steal and have me up here. I'm standing up at these four school. It's the principal, the teacher, two more teachers looking at me like, yeah, he steal. Like, I'm looking. I'm, I'm so fucking embarrassed. I told that nigga, let me tell you like that. Do what we gonna do. I said, since you want to act like a criminal, and act like a nothing ass nigga, then that's how I'm finna treat you. Went home that day. I ordered the kids uh, pizza, wings. All the kids is making A's. I had a little board on the wall. All the kids do good. I put your little star on the board. For the end of that week, you get extra allowance. Yo, we had a nice little setup. Since he want to cut up like that, he was on a punishment for a week. I put that nigga on a punishment. Two weeks. One week, he ate. Nothing but, and I and I and I was low down. I I did this shit to be low down. I bought the other kids pizza, wings, goddamn snacks. They eat the little Oreos. They eat they Oreos after they eat. They had drinks, juice. Guess what this nigga ate? I gave that nigga a can of beets. I opened that nigga up a can of beets, red beets, and a uh like some uh he ate a can of beets. And he ate a can of black eyed peas. Oh, yeah. Cooked it for him. Put it on the plate. While the children sat there in his face and ate pizza and wings, yeah, and drunk sodas. I said, this is what they eat in prison, which I know they ain't. I told that nigga. I said, you want to go to prison? Let's practice. I said, we're going to give you prison for two weeks. He couldn't play his PlayStation. I let the children play the PlayStation all night. Just laugh as loud as y'all want to. Be extra with the game. He set his ass in that room, and that made that motherfucker write 2,000 times. He had to write, have 1,000 done that week and 1,000 done the next week. Daddy, I'm sorry. I will never. And then I gave him a long sentence. It wasn't no shit like, I will not steal again, because that shit easy. He can write all the eyes. All the wheels. No, I gave you that nigga a sentence. That's the sentence was goddamn three fucking sentences long, and that nigga had to write that motherfucker a thousand, two thousand times. I meant that 
I meant that shit. Cause see, if I didn't do that, that sister was gonna get that mother, get him for real. And they was gonna they was gonna do him all kind of ways in that prison. I raised my fucking churn. I ain't bullshitting with mine. I'm not putting on anything out here in this world. And that nigga wrote that shit, Dad. I'm sorry. I will not ever steal nothing from anybody again as long as I live. And he didn't. And that stopped in the fifth grade. I broke that nigga in the fifth grade. And from then on, he was the best fucking child. The best fucking child. You damn right. We got to raise our children. We got to play a part in it. They out here running, rapping like that. True enough, a lot of these motherfuckers going to do what they want to do, even though you a good parent, but you still got to buck on them little motherfuckers and choke them bitches up against the wall. I'm telling you, we got to take that shit back. All that, they talking about we abusing our children. Now, nah, that shit don't be abuse. My mama beat me with a stitching car a many days. At first, I thought a stitch, I didn't even know a stitching car was some you to make an extension when you plug it in here to, to make something longer. I thought, I just knew it was a stitch, and, and a stitching car as a fucking belt. That was my belt. She told me to go get the belt. I go get the stitching car. Go unplug the TV and bring the stitching car to her. Man, I got whooping in the stitching car, nigga sitting in the tub. My mama used to get me. She'll tell me, go get in the tub. You know, back then, nigga ain't know nothing about showers for real. We had, we took baths. You took sit down baths. My mama let you get in the tub, in the tub, nigga, and you swell. She, she don't forgot about that shit. You sit in that tub, your mama come walk in that bitch while you wet and beat the skin off you, then make you wear long sleeve shirts. Shit me, beat the blood out your ass. That we got to start doing. Start beating the fucking blood out of our fucking churn to show their ass we ain't bullshitting. And I don't give a fuck how y'all think about it. That ain't abuse. That's goddamn training their ass to be somebody. Fuck this. Y'all take care.